my co-staff from this past week, Tim, with me. And uh, we worked together in the Eagles group. Had a really good week overall. And second day try shift thankfully a lot easier just having already having an idea of how I run a schedule and what needs to get done every day calling half courts uh, the camp setup just getting everything done felt a lot more routine rather than trying to have to remember everything as I went along so we got walked twice we didn't do a lot of hiking but the hikes we did we had good pushes and Tim led one of those mm -hmm. hikes cross country. And what were some of your highlights? What was a highlight for you of the week, Tim? Um, definitely that hike. <laughs> it's a high, like just being walked for three days was just making me claustrophobic. Sitting around is not fun. Um, hiking, definitely uh, using maps and compasses is my favorite thing to do. So if I get a good area where I can pinpoint where I'm going, I get to play around more, and you saw that, just Yeah, being goofy on the hike. So you and I have pretty different styles in how we approach things. Can, can you describe what your philosophy is about this job, just in the way that you approach uh, the kids? And so obviously there's some things that have to get done, and that's core, uh, but the way that you go about doing those things is style. So what, how, how would you describe your style? Um, I've been thinking about that quite a bit. Um, but I've been in athletics forever. And um, what happens is, you know, you, you're always testing your limits. You push your limits. And the coaching, the training is they, they want you to be, like, they hit you really hard, really fast. And go extremes that you probably would never see in a match or in a football game or something. They do that because when those things come around, real life situations come around, you're already tested. You're you're not being pushed as hard when you're actually in real life doing something. So I feel like I like pushing extremes, like being critical with them heavily, um, making them feel uncomfortable as much as I can. Because when things come around they have to like <laughs> when they have to deal with things in real life that stress level they will never reach because I've already put it on them so hard. So if they go to, I don't know, a job interview, live life, have peer pressure situations, uh, they will probably easily deal with it like, well, this ain't Tim Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Tim's style, whereas mine, I try to be understanding of where they're coming from as well as convey to them in the way I interact that life doesn't have to be a competition. And so when they're trying to one-up each other or make a big deal out of something to get attention or get attention from someone else and get their own attention, just be like, look, that, it doesn't have to be that way. It, it, there's enough for everyone to have what they need. And when everyone realizes that life isn't a competition, they don't have to feel negative hopefully toward their peers and with that mindset can engage them in a positive way and say look let's actually help each other out get stuff done let's you open up I open up we understand each other better so next time you do something I don't understand or I didn't understand previously now I know where you're coming from and I may not agree with you but I can respect the way that you do things and where you come from so we definitely Whenever I fall out of balance, I tend to be more of a nurturing parent where I kind of work to ease the bird, their burdens too, too much and take away that struggle from them and give them too much comfort. And that's something I know I need to work on. I think I'm getting closer to a balance, being more comfortable just like calling people out like, you will not do that or that's not okay. Um, Whenever you fall out of balance, where where do you fall towards? Um, I, I like I go between like nurturing child and critical parent all the time. It's just like uh, critical parent, I guess, just like dominates my life. Probably because that's my background. Just anger is a very useful tool <laughs> when dealing with stress. And I feel like although I am angry, at least I'm venting my anger. Mm -hmm. Where like I, we've seen kids who just hold it in until they want to. 
explode and you know uh, to me that's yeah. not healthy um, that's very true and uh, you know anger for me is just like not anger just like stress I mean like stress um, voicing my 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 uh, stress and very loudly mm -hmm. I feel like when I do that it's like elevating me like getting my blood pumping and um, I feel like that's actually relieving me very well like it's, mm -hmm. And, you know, it scares the kids sometimes, and uh, I know it's, it's... As it certainly did this week. Yeah, I'm, I'm, the, I'm now the feared person. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's like, if you see a person like me doing that, and uh, I'm an okay person as far mm -hmm. as being a um, balanced human being. Yeah. Because um, you got to relieve stress every now and then, man. Whatever, or however you do it, it's up to you. Just, I have found the punching a bag and running something yes. over or <laughs> chopping a tree down <laughs> or all of those things um, believe me my personal life and I have a job that allows me to do that as well yeah. so couldn't I probably couldn't be a very good kindergarten teacher or something oh my so. gosh that'd be hilarious yeah <laughs> holy crap that that would make a movie right there yeah it's like I can't swim I stay out of the water kind of, kind of thing <laughs> well we had a good week one of my highlights was Managed to read the entire second Harry Potter, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Maybe a little bit too much emphasis on that, uh, but had a good time and was the last day, got to the last chapter and a half, so now I can finally watch the second Harry Potter movie. And You read the whole book, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, you started, yeah. Yeah. That was good. So, had a good week with this guy, and <laughs> see y'all on the other side.